Hello everybody and welcome to Nick Bunny's Counter-Strike Global Offensive Top 10 Plays as submitted by you the viewer at nickcsgo at gmail.com I'd like to personally thank everybody for submitting the clips because this is going to be the best episode all of them are going to be ace rounds not only that but a Norwegian has decided to donate a Tech 9 fish forest to be given away to one of the winners that's one of the weirdest tech nines that i've ever seen but it's gonna be given away to one of the comments in the comment sections down below so while you leave a comment make sure to also leave a like because your mama didn't raise no selfish boy also you can share this with one of your friends and maybe one of you guys could win it but enough of me blabbering i just want to make this video to say thank you to everybody for being such an awesome community Let's get started. And we take off with our number 10 clip, which is also in a little lower quality, but still really good. Kit's machine is playing on Inferno, defending Banana. Enemies are pushing in, takes out two of them. Blinded takes out two more, takes out his pistol for the beautiful ace. Moving on, we have the most underrated map in the world, Dust to Nivea for men. Starts off by getting a beautiful knife kill and then starts moving towards Long. As he peeks around the corner, he gets an insane headshot. Those reflexes, I'm totally jealous of those, but the bomb has been planted. He starts moving towards the bomb as he does that he starts getting shot from long he turns around puts a couple of bullets down the range and gets three piece with just a couple of bullets that's a 5k and a bomb defuse wow i'm gonna go shave and put some nivea on my face maybe i'll be as good as him now how about we throw in a bonus clip which i don't think needs any commentary from me oh my god oh my god joseph with this for the game oh Well, that excitement is never gonna get old. We're moving to our number eight clip, which comes from Fez on one of the new maps on Castle. So he starts off by getting a kill and then moves towards Kitchen and voila, voila, there's two enemies and he takes them out with ease. Currently, he is at three kills. He's basically doing everything for his teammates. All they have to do is come in and plant the bomb and that's exactly what's gonna happen. He's gonna watch over his teammate as he's playing the bomb, but he sees somebody starts taking a couple of shots and then he decides that, hey, I'm gonna throw a grenade. And through the power of editing, we go to a different angle to see him get a double kill with the grenade for the ace <coughs> moving out at number seven and also showing variety maps in this top 10 plays we have binary who says don't worry guys i got this that four hp cockiness he starts off by getting two cts he's still on four hp so he's doing well so far goes around the projector reloads his weapon is gonna check off he sees one enemy and while he shoots at him sees another one so checks the kitchen because you know somebody's gonna be pushing out of there he's on four hp then gets incendiary down to three pushes him and he gets the ace well i guess he really had that Jumping down to our number 6 spot, we have a more tactical play coming from Lindquist who finds himself in quite of a pickle as his teammates are all getting taken out at A. He has to make his way towards A, but he's alive with one more teammate, but the other teammate is Reno, and let's face it, Reno's gonna do what he does best, and in just a couple of seconds, Reno gets taken out. As this Australian who was not born in Australia or doesn't live there, here's somebody going to window, so he's gonna take a couple of shots and connects with one of them. He's playing this slowly as he moves through the connector, sees one enemy coming out of the smoke, the enemy he misses but Linquist takes him out and he picks up his op. Now that he has an op he's gonna do what he does best with it and misses. He should have stuck with the M4 but finally connects with one shot. As he moves towards the bomb site, he sees a flash coming from CC spawn. He's gonna try to protect his vision from in one more flash so he knows the enemy is in CT spawn. He's gonna peek him, takes him out and starts defusing the bomb while for some reason scoped in and also by the looks of it he doesn't have a kit. So we're gonna have to fast forward. Oh I defused it. Dude buy a kit next time. Did you ever wonder what a bonus clip would look like if somebody were to use the Negev, well, Savage has the answer for us. Starts off by pushing into lower B with the Negev, just sprays it at the enemy, gets a nice 4k, he knows there's one more enemy, sees him around the corner, decides to jump, shoot him, and gets the ace with the Negev. Congratulations for making it through half the top plays at number 5. We have a scenario what happens when somebody's alone with an AWP and everybody decides to rush them one at a time. Well, the guy is in exactly the same scenario as the enemies are coming in one at a time. He also saw another one on Xbox, takes him out with a beautiful headshot now it's a one versus one so he knows the other one should be lurking around and there he is for a beautiful ace moving to our numero cuatro c i'm reaching to our spanish audience we have edition who is playing on mirage with the m4 a4 starts off by matar a quick enemy and then matar's another enemy this guy is on fuego he's gonna move to ct spawn to try to work that angle but the enemy is throwing el humo they're trying to fumar the entrances to make it harder for him but these little tricks won't 
won't work on Edition as he matars another enemy. The enemy is getting desperate and they throw in a Relampago. But this is Edition as say, you don't stop him like that. So they're gonna fumar him even more, but he gets a Cabeza shot, gringo. Now it's uno contra uno, but he's starting to run out of tiempo. So he's gonna get a little more aggressive, throws in a Relampago. He's gonna check every corner as he pushes in. Finally sees a little bit of the enemy, turns around, puts a couple of bullets towards him, and he gets him, runs toward the bomb. He's only got a couple of seconds, but because he has a kit, orale ese, he defuses it. I'm sorry if this was offensive. I'm really just craving Chipotle. Now moving to our number three spot, we go to Nuke with a LMAO al Akbar, which ironically is not playing as a terrorist. Nonetheless, it's a one versus five as he takes out one enemy, and then the enemy decides to push him for no reason, and he's like, you know what? I'm not having none of this. So he technically does get the ace, even though an enemy killed the other enemy, but he's gonna defuse the bomb. I repeat, Allahu Akbar is defusing the bomb. <laughs> now we go on Inferno with our runner-up clip of the week, Lucas, who is playing with a P250. Starts off by getting an insane 4 headshot with the P250, then picks up an AK and it's like, you know what? I'm going for my ace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our number one clip of the day, which once again is sponsored by Twitch TV forward slash Negbunny, and it's not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but you should follow me because I'm funny. My grandma told me. We are first person with weak who scopes down radio and what that is a three kills for one bullet this clip cannot get any better and he gets collateral this is insane let's watch that again here we see the enemies coming in the first three go down he actually tags the second person with an op and then gets the beautiful collateral to end the ace well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been without doubt the best episode that I've edited so far. I want to thank everybody for submitting the clip. If you want a chance to win that knife, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And also leave a like and you could share this video because you're not selfish like I sometimes think you are. If you guys want to submit clips, make sure to check the description. There is an email with all the information. I would appreciate if you guys could send in demos so I can record them at the best quality. If you do send in demo, please make sure to let me know your name and what tick number or round to look for. And also so how many kills of what exactly I'm looking for. I'm looking for tactical plays, but also bonus clips. So if you have something funny happen to you, make sure to send it to me so I can feature you. If you enjoy these top plays, there is a playlist or you can check the last episode. It's on screen. You can click on it. If you're watching this on a tablet or on a mobile, make sure to check the description because the links are all there. And I think that's about it. I'll see you guys next week for another episode. Bye. Why do I do those weird things at the end?